What's up everybody, it's Nick here and this is your stimulus package, stimulus check update. In this video, we're gonna be talking about the terms of the Republicans' new skinny stimulus bill. They unveiled it on Tuesday and in this video, I will summarize it for you so that you don't have to read all 285 pages of it. So stay tuned. If you're new to this channel, welcome. My name is Nick, I'm a lawyer, and on this channel I make videos about the stimulus package and the second stimulus check. Make sure to hit that subscribe button below right now, and then let me know in the comment section that you subscribe by writing, I subscribed. Now that you subscribed, let's get into the video. On Tuesday, the Republicans in the Senate, led by Mitch McConnell, released the terms of their new stimulus package. The package is formally known as the Delivering Immediate Relief to America's Families, Schools, and Small Businesses Act. At just 285 pages, compared to the 1815 page HEROES Act, this bill is better known as the Skinny Stimulus Bill. It's also a fitting name because it is half, I repeat, half the size of the Republicans' previous stimulus package known as the HEALS Act. So what does the skinny stimulus bill actually include? Well, it does include federal boost to unemployment benefits. The boost amount is $300 per week, which is half of the $600 amount per week boost under the CARES Act, which expired in July. The boost would run through December 27th, and it mirrors the executive orders that President Trump signed last month, authorizing $300 per week in unemployment benefits. Next, the skinny stimulus bill does include a liability shield for businesses, schools, churches, hospitals, etc. against COVID-related personal injury claims. Third, the skinny stimulus bill does provide for a second round of Paycheck Protection Program loans to small businesses. This would allow some small businesses to apply for a second loan from the Paycheck Protection Program. That would be limited to those with fewer than 300 employees that have seen a drop of at least 35% of their revenue during the first or second quarter of 2020. It would also reduce the amount a borrower can receive from $10 million to $2 million and give businesses more flexibility on how they spend the money. Fourth, under the skinny stimulus bill, the $10 billion loan given to the Postal Service under the CARES Act would be forgiven and thus turned into a grant. Fifth, the skinny stimulus bill provides for $105 billion in funding through an education stabilization fund for schools as students go back to classes across the country. The bill also includes a two-year tax credit for private schools and other scholarship granting organizations. Next, the skinny stimulus bill includes $16 billion for coronavirus testing. It includes $31 billion for development of a vaccine and therapeutics. So the next thing you might be asking is, what is missing from the new skinny stimulus bill? Well, the skinny stimulus bill does not include a second round of stimulus checks to Americans. It also does not have any state and local government funding, which has been a major source of contention between the Republicans and the Democrats as they negotiate the terms of the next stimulus package. So when is the Senate going to vote on this new skinny stimulus bill? Well, the Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell said an initial vote on the measure would happen on Thursday. USA Today reports that Mitch McConnell acknowledged that the skinny stimulus bill is not perfect and doesn't contain policies sought by members of both parties. Tuesday afternoon on the floor of the Senate, McConnell said, quote, it's not a sweeping multi-trillion dollar plan to rebuild the entire country. He added that it does not contain every single relief policy that Republicans ourselves think would help in the short term. I'm confident the Democrats would feel the same way, but the American people don't need us to keep arguing over what might be perfect. They need us to actually make a law. So how have the Democrats in Congress reacted to this? Well, about as expected. In a statement that they released after the new skinny stimulus bill was issued on Tuesday, Pelosi and Schumer said, quote, as they scramble to make up for this historic mistake, Senate Republicans appear dead set on another bill which doesn't come close to addressing the problems and is headed nowhere. They also said 
This emaciated bill is only intended to help vulnerable Republican senators by giving them a check the box vote to maintain the appearance that they're not held hostage by their extreme right wing that doesn't want to spend a nickel to help people. So will it pass Congress? Will the skinny stimulus bill pass in Congress? The bill may pass the Senate, it may not. There are 53 Republicans in the Senate right now. To pass the Senate, 51 senators must vote in favor of the bill. That means that if just three Republicans vote against it, the bill will not pass the Senate. The Senate has 45 Democrats and most likely they're all going to vote against it. So you might be wondering, why is a second round of stimulus checks missing from the Republicans' new skinny stimulus bill? After all, I thought we were in agreement. I thought both sides agreed that a second stimulus check was necessary for the American people. Well, you're right, and that's a good question. The reason that it was left out of the skinny stimulus bill, I believe, is that a number of Republican senators have spoken out actually against a second round of stimulus checks. For example, Senator Ted Cruz, Republican from Texas, has spoken out against a second round of stimulus checks, calling stimulus helicopter money. The, the $1,200 check is basically what, what Pelosi's approach is, and, and sadly some Republicans, is just basically dumping cash from a helicopter. And, and that money doesn't create jobs. You're much better off reducing taxes like I propose, which gives people a pay raise and gives them an incentive to go work and gives them gives the business an incentive to move forward. That's much better off for the economy than, ju than just throwing cash at a helicopter. Republican Senator from Pennsylvania, Patrick Toomey, is also opposed to a second stimulus check to Americans, saying there's no need to reload the money cannon. It's not obvious to me that we need to load the money cannon and fire that off again. Let's remember, there's no free lunch. All of this is uh, either borrowed money or created money, and either way, uh, Americans are going to pay a price for this. So I think we want to go very, very cautiously before we just decide to you know, launch, launch a lot more money out. So that's all I've got for you today. Make sure to hit that subscribe button below and then leave a comment for me letting me know by writing, I subscribed. And as always, thank you for watching.